friends. Today I'm going to be talking about brushes. Um, I have a lot of different kinds that I've, um, I just kind of got some generic brands and then I've got some of the new Sigma brushes that are incredible. And I actually, I put them in little flower jars with these beads in it. You can get them at Walmart, a craft store, anything. And I just put all my brushes in these. And it just makes it easy to grab. It keeps them nice. And it looks pretty. <laughs> um, first set of brushes I'm going to be talking about, I just would like to tell you what kind of products you'd use with them. Because some people say, okay, I've got all these great brushes. Now I don't know what to use them for. You can't, um, and I got the Sigma brushes online. You need to buy these. It comes with this little pamphlet. And it tells you what each brush does. So this is perfect for beginners. And you can see exactly what your brush will do. The first one from the Sigma, it's so soft. Um, if you want to know anything about them, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the textures, but I'll just let you know. This one is a large powder brush from Sigma Makeup. And you would use something like this with loose powder. You could use a blush if you don't want a really um, concentrated uh, look with your blush, but I just use this like I would use this um, CoverGirl True Blend Minerals. It's just a finishing veil to put all over your face once you're done your makeup. I don't care for the brush in here, so something like this is perfect to so just spread it on evenly and lightly all around my face. The next one is a large foundation brush. This one, these are all soft. These Sigma brushes are incredible. I got all of them and a brush roll for I think $74, but I got a lot of brushes for this. 14, 15 brushes in that. That's great. This you would use with just foundation. You just put some of this on your hand and take this and dab it in and use it like so. And this is just great. I love the dual fibers in this. Next one is a dual fiber brush. See these? Looks kind of funny, huh? But this is also very soft. I would use this with something like a MAC Skin Finish where you want um, the look to be concentrated but not you don't want it to be too glittery and too harsh so you'd use something like this with it. You just dab it in, dab it on your face. You also can use this for foundation. I also use this one for it and it's great. You just dab it on your face and then you just go like this, like dab it I guess and then spread it all around. So that one's great too. Next one is a dual fiber or um, a large angled contour brush. You can see how it's kind of angled. And this is great for blush. This is just for um, powder blushes, not not um, cream blushes. You put it in here and it's just perfect angled. And these are all, the names of them are SS150, SS190, stuff like that because they take after MAC brushes. If you don't want to pay for the MAC price, but you want the quality, I would recommend getting these because these are incredible. I, I absolutely love them. They're worth every penny I paid for them. This one is a small concealer brush. So you would take a liquid concealer and you'd put that under your eyes and this would just help blend it in well. Um, where's the next one? This one angled shading brush. This one's great. You could, I like using it up here for my highlight color. It comes with a small angle black brush and I use this under my eyes. Like with the flip side in the Get Baked collection from Urban Decay, I would use this color underneath. Or you could use a hip um, cream liner with something like this. Um, the large shader brush works great, as you can see it, with lots of different kinds. Any kind of shadow, it puts it on great. Um, pencil brush, I love actually. It's a little dirty, sorry. Um, I actually use it as a crease brush. But in, cause it, it just gets it right in there because of it. Because of the shape and the size of it. This is a sh tapered blending brush just to blend your colors in so it doesn't look so harsh and such harsh lines between the colors. You just use this in to get a nice pretty effect. Um, eyeliner brush, which you would also use with something like this, the gel, or the cream, I mean. And this last one I use very, very often. 
this one. The SS 239. And this is just an eyeshadow brush, and it's dense, so it gets the pigments. You can use it for pigment or for shadow. Um, these next two are Coastal Scents brushes. I only have two, but I love them so far. This one is makes it very concentrated. This is Kabuki on a stick. And I just use my bronzer with this one. Or my sh or my um my blush sometimes. This one is great. See? It's a dual fiber and it also but it's dense. I love it. I use this with my skin finish. I just keep this in my makeup bag and use this one. Or you could use it for blush or a powder, anything. This one is great too. Um I just have a basic kabuki like this. Just use for um uh, blush. Uh, I can't think right now. I got the Eco Tools set, and it comes with five things. It comes with a large powder brush. You would just use this for your your blush or powder. A concealer brush to use under your eyes or wherever, whatever spots you want to conceal. This is an eyelash groomer or you know, to just keep it all in place. Makes it look nice with something like this. This is all an eco tool set. You can get them at different drugstores like Rite Aid, Kenny, CBS. This is an angled liner brush. And this is an eyeshadow brush just to get the color right on it. Which is fairly comparable to my Sigma brush. But this one's more dense. This one is just softer. Um, and then I have my Sephora that you already saw the review on. The blush, angled liner, smudger, crease, and eyeshadow brush. And then the last one is Girl Actic. Just a very dense but wide um, eyeshadow brush that I got from cherryculture.com. And this is pretty and it comes with its own cute little pink leather case. Um, these are all the brushes. If you have any um, comments or questions, please let me know. If you want me to review any more of them further, that I would be happy to. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Also, if you're looking for different ways to clean your brushes, I would recommend getting the MAC Brush Cleanser. And it's $11 online, but you'll have this for a long, long time. Um, Say I want to wash off this one, my flat brush. I would just dab it, pour a drop onto it like this, and then you could use it, rub it on any sort of cloth that you have. Just rub it in, and it takes out all the eyeshadow, liners, blush, anything that you have on these. And this is a quick, quick thing you can do every day because it dries instantly, so you can start using your makeup again. But if you want to deep clean your brushes, wash them with Johnson's Baby Shampoo. So once again, I run the water in the sink, and then I would put some of this on it, and I would just kind of clean it off like that. And then I would lay them out overnight or for a few hours to dry on a towel. But you want to reshape them because sometimes um, brushes with specific shapes, like say my um, angled brush, you want to make sure it keeps that great pack. Um, angled shape because um, this has a specific purpose just like the do a fiber brush does too so you have to just shape them out you would go like this after you put the stuff on them and lay them down and once again MAC brush cleanser at maccosmetics.com and Johnson's baby shampoo either one works this is for more you don't have to do this once in a while this I would do every other day just to keep your brushes great. I mean, if you um, don't want to invest in those and you have drugstore brushes, you don't have to clean them. But the Sigma brushes that I got, like I said, I mean, they were fairly expensive for all of them. So I want to take good, good care of them to have them as long as possible, especially because they're comparable to MAC brushes. So I just use those cleansers as often as possible. And I hope you guys will, too.